rather than review Ghostbusters 2016, I decided to take this opportunity to talk about spin-off movies, what they have to offer, and why they just might work. I am the Ranting Usher. Everyone heat up your proton packs while I talk you to your seat. Being a huge fan of the Ghostbusters franchise, I think spin-off movies would open up possibilities to explore characters given very little background in the originals. Spin-off movies would also present creative and interesting scenarios allowing us to see how certain characters could influence the franchise should they get their own movie. Out of all four Ghostbusters, Winston Zedmore, played by Ernie Hudson, has the least growth in character development. We know Winston is a religious man who has studied the Bible, has a phobia of rats, and was enticed by the prospect of earning a steady paycheck when applying for the job. Beyond that, we have no idea what prompted him to become a Ghostbuster. Whatever paranormal experiences he might have had in his past were never alluded to. I would be excited to see Winston Zedmore's character explored in greater depth in a spin-off movie. Dana Barrett's son Oscar definitely deserves his own movie. It would be interesting to see what supernatural encounters he has while growing up. They might bring about flashbacks of Vigo the Carpathian, creating an appropriate contrast between Oscar's past and future. If Oscar becomes a Ghostbuster himself, that would be awesome. The series would turn full circle. It was implied in Ghostbusters 2 that Louis Tully and Janine Melnitz might have a child as well. Imagine if both Oscar and their son or daughter grow up together. If they both become Ghostbusters, that would be amazing. I want to see more Janusz Poha. Peter McNichol's performance as the quirky art teacher turned minion for Vigo the Carpathian was a highlight in Ghostbusters 2. I don't know whether or not Peter McNichol would be interested in returning to that role, but it would be great to see Janusz in a spin-off movie. Maybe not as a main character, but at the very least, give him some more screen time. Many of the ghosts in the Ghostbusters movies appear only for a few seconds. Many of them serve either Vigo or Gozer the Gozerian. Suppose they serve another higher power we don't know about yet. For even a few of those ghosts to be identified and to see another demonic force arise in a spin-off film with today's special effects would be phenomenal. Ghostbusters spin-off movies have never been discussed or even considered so far as I know, but those are some of the things I would be excited to see should those movies ever be released. What do you think about Ghostbusters spin-off movies? Would they work? Let me know in the comments down below. I am the Ranting Usher. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Thank you for watching the video. As always, feel free to click like, share, subscribe, and have a great day.